When I teach module development, I make everybody do it by hand. I mean everything from the beginning of creating the folder, the .info.yaml file, all the way to the scaffolding for their entire module. I don't tell them about this trick until the end of the week. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And if you've been around Drupal and module development for a while, I'm sure you already know about Drush Generate. But with this tip today, I'm going to help all of those budding module developers get started a lot faster. Let's dive in. All right, so I'm over here in my terminal window. And frankly, if you don't have command line access to your website, you absolutely are missing out. You need to do that. If you're on a shared host platform of some kind and can't get that, well, it's probably time to actually upgrade to better hosting. All right. so. There's just a ton you can do with the command line in Drupal, installing modules, updating Drupal, and more. But what about module development and getting that scaffolding up and running quickly? You know that Drupal modules use the PSR4 naming convention. And honestly, it's a bit of a pain when you're starting to learn it. It's one of the things that new module developers in Drupal kind of struggle with because it's a little counterintuitive. Well, what if we could get that up and running? All right, so here you go, Drush generate module. Just type that in where you've got command line access and Drush installed on your Drupal site. And it's going to go and ask you a bunch of questions. What's the name of your module? I'm just going to use really simple stuff here. Wherever you see something in the brown color here, that's the default. You can just hit enter. This is my first Drush generated module. We'll leave it in the custom folder. Dependencies, let's say block, just in case I want to add a block plugin. Would you like to create the module file? Uh, yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 And there you are. Let's go take a look. There's my custom folder. There's the my module folder. This didn't exist a minute ago. In the config folder, I've got a schema.yaml. In the SRC, I've got controller, form, and plugin. These folders are created for me. There's even an example block that's created for me that I can immediately place. There's the .info, .install, .libraries, .links, .module, .permissions, and .routing.yaml file. Yeah, I just saved you a bunch of time. If you've never tried this before, it's actually a lot of fun. Drush commands are something you really, really should learn in Drupal. One of the best resources for this is drush.org. You can click through and see the commands and the output for virtually every Drush command that will save you just a ton of time when you're building a Drupal website. Well, I hope that helps today. Drush is just one of those fantastic tools. If you're new to Drupal, it's probably something you've stayed away from. Let me encourage you, you need to dive deep. All right, well, thanks for watching today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name is Rod Martin. We publish a new video every week. We'll see you next time.